Hello everyone, I am Dr. Yubi Bharati, Chief Infertility Specialist. Today the topic of discussion is going to be on male infertility. Male infertility accounts for almost 20% of the infertile couple. So after a period of say one year of marriage and with regular intercourse, if the couple does not become pregnant, they usually go to the doctor to seek help. The doctor usually recommends semen analysis for the male partner. The semen analysis is usually done with the 2 to 7 days of abstinence period. And the report turns out to be either a normosospermia, azospermia, or there is a decrease in count, motility, or morphology. If it, the report is normal, then there's nothing to worry, it's good. And if the report turns out to be azospermia, still you don't have to worry because there are two types of azospermia one is obstructive and non obstructive. In obstructive cases, a simple procedure like PSA, TSA, TSA will retrieve sperm, and with that, using ICSI, you can have your genetically owned child. In case of non-obstructive azoospermia, that means the production is not there. In such cases, we have to do a genetic testing for the male partner. That is, you have to do a karyotyping, Y-chromosome microdeletion. If this turns out to be normal, then there are advanced surgical procedures like microtisa, where you use a microscope and then you locate the sperms and retrieve it and then you use your ICSI methods and have your genetically owned child. If suppose there is a decrease in count, motility, then there are lot of medical options available which, which taken over a period of say 3 months, that shows that there is an increase in motility and count. So nothing to worry, if there is male infertility issues, you seek the doctor's help and you can definitely have your own genetical child. Thank you.